do a little bit of a test here. 380 Auto versus 38 Special. What I want to test here is momentum. Is there a difference in momentum? I have a discussion now and again with one of my subscribers who proved to me that momentum is a real thing. And it's something you typically hear about when you're talking like the 230 grain 45 auto versus 115 grain 9 by 19 But is, is it a thing in the 38 Special versus the 380? I'm kind of wondering about that. So what I did is I picked two different cartridges that are pretty similar in actual power. And I'll put that to the test by hitting these uh, 2 by 4s here. Now the load I have for the 380 is the 90 grain Hydroshock. This has... It's over a thousand feet per second and it has 204 foot pounds energy. I'm going to compare it to the uh, Silver Tip 380, or not 380, but 38 plus P. The reason why I'm comparing that to this is this has 189 foot pounds of energy. So 189 foot pounds of energy versus the 380's 204 foot pounds. Only a difference of 15 foot pounds of energy, but. This is a 125 grain, that's a 90, so there's a 35 grain difference in, in bullet weight. Is that going to affect momentum? Is that going to push these a little bit more with that heavier bullet? And keep in mind the 38 has a little bit less energy with this particular cartridge. So if we're going to see a difference in momentum, we should see it with these two loads. So let's hit up the uh, wood with the 380 Hydroshock, and we'll see what it does. Wow, it's pretty good for 380. I'm more concerned about what it did as far as pushing it than I am about the penetration or anything like that. But what you see here, so put a nice hole straight through it, and I mean the nose of that bullet's gonna be halfway in that second board. That's some pretty serious uh, penetration there, and pretty serious knockdown back too. Let's switch this over. And we'll see if we get any more push. That 38 special. About the same amount of energy, but certainly certainly there's going to be more momentum with the uh, 38 special. Let's see what they actually get with these. kind of hard to tell. They both knocked it around, but honestly, when I got a glimpse of the second board flying, it did seem like a little bit more push. And got roughly the same thing, um, straight out the back, and then this is the 380 that I caught on this side. Very special I caught on this side. Roughly the same depth of penetration, that's pretty interesting. Um, let's just see. I'm going to see how far it'll shoot a single board. Uh, I don't have a measuring tape with me, but I'll just you know, use my feet or something to measure how far it'll throw this board. Set straight up against this uh, front of this table. I hit it as high up on the board as I, well, let's do about a couple inches below the top. I think that'll give me the best throw. So let's see what happens. Knocked it right down. It's pretty cool. Let's put it to the same in front of that board there. Let's see if the 38 Special does anything different at all. I'll try to hit it similar spot, but not in the same hole. It's kind of interesting. There's not a huge difference there, but. I certainly wouldn't say that I see less effect with the 38 than I do the 380. I think, um, if anything, I'm seeing a little bit more effect on that. That's pretty interesting results. Um, let me get some water jug. A water jug between two boards. This will see what happens if I hit that 380 and I hit the water jug on the other side. What it will do to the board on the other side. I'll go about mid board. 
that was cool. And the, the, the board over here is on the ground about 18 inches. The, the very leading edge of it is about 18 inches away from the table. Put up a new jug and see if there's any difference here. Just went right through it. Okay, 30 special. Is it going to do anything different? We'll find out. Hit it in about the same spot. Okay. More damage to the water jug and the board. Let's see here. Instead of 18 inches, it's uh, four feet. So, all things considered, I honestly do think we see a little bit difference in momentum here. And that's something to be said about the 38 Special. It's been an effective cartridge for a long time, and it's something that people don't always take into consideration. Even when you go as far as to compare it to the 9x19 to the 38 Plus P, because oftentimes the, the really warm 9mm, actually most of the time, it's always going to be 124 grain, 115 grain. And when you're talking 38 Special, oftentimes you're talking about 158 like that buffalo bull round. And I ran those numbers on a, on a momentum calculator and a Taylor knockout factor calculator. Um, basically, the momentum of that buffalo bull round was 26. I compared it to a, that plus P plus 9 millimeter in a 4.9 inch Beretta barrel. And even with that long Beretta barrel, it was a momentum of 23. So the 38 had way more momentum. And actually, Taylor knockout factor, which is basically people have shot thousands of animals with every kind of gun you can imagine, and there's like a certain point system for Taylor knockout factor. That 38 plus P Buffalo Bar was higher than the 9mm plus P plus. It was like 9. Taylor knockout factor for the 9mm plus P plus was 8. So even though we were talking 501 foot-pounds energy with the 9mm plus B plus and only 474 foot-pounds, the 38, 38 special, that 38 special was more effective. So it's another realm to really, to really examine here. Momentum, is it something? Yes. What will it do to the intended target? I can't be 100% sure, but it certainly will affect, as you saw here, the outcome of what it does to a target. Um, it threw that second board pretty far. Um, you know, what what that does, I don't know to, to, a, to a human target. I do know though that there's a lot of stopping power charts and the 38 Special and 380 are pretty close on them. Pretty close. So it's just something to take into consideration that you got a lot of momentum. Momentum is just a force that wants to keep moving forward, you know. So you could definitely, and I've seen this a lot, get more penetration on soft materials with the 38 Special. But a little bit less penetration on hard barriers because the 380 oftentimes is moving so fast it'll punch through something a lot quicker. But when you're talking shooting flesh, I think the 38 Special is going to have its edge in penetration. Um, yeah, 380 will do good here, straight on shots, drop somebody, hit something vital expand well but through here probably not so well 38 special probably will very easily with the right cartridge so momentum is the real thing certainly uh, but I'm not going to draw any real conclusions here it's just a informal test so as always thanks for watching